Morning. Captain Dan here, Mass Man Fishing. Good morning. Got another, got a crazy trip today. Going down the Apalachicola River. We're at the top now. Right at the dam. The dam is right around the corner over here. And we're uh, loading the boats, getting ready to push off. We got my boat here, the Mass Man. And we got Jody's Carolina skiff as well. And there's gonna be five of us headed down the river. We'll camp tonight, and then uh, tomorrow night we'll stay in Apalachicola in some nicer accommodation. Should be a good one, stay tuned. Well, we're in. Water's a little lower than I'd like it, but we're gonna see what happens. We'll take our time on this top portion. And then once it, uh, once it narrows down and gets a little deeper, then we can run, run. But a beautiful day. Perfect camping weather. So one thing you do gotta take into consideration when doing this trip is the shuttling part. So I'm, uh, I'm shuttling the truck right now. I've made it down to the coast, but it's about an hour and 45 minutes one way. So there's three and a half hours of somebody sitting back up at the top with the boat. So you definitely don't want to do it by yourself. I've got Barb driving us back up. So uh, Johnny and I drove down and we're going to pick up Sean and uh, run back up to the top. So. It's three and a half hours of shuttling. So that's the uh, that's the only downside of this trip. But the good part is once you get to the bottom, your trucks are there ready to rock and roll. So you just load up and go. But we're gonna we're gonna go to a hotel when we get to the bottom and spend the night in Apalachicola and enjoy the uh, enjoy the breweries down there. Alright, right, we're pushing dude. off. So we're right here at the dam, headed out. Got my crew. Johnny's up ahead. Off we go. Here's something you don't see every day. Yeah, we're in Florida. Pretty wild.
The current situation has changed. We are now towing Jody's boat the entire 105 mile. Jesus. Here we go. Alright, well, we have found camp. So we're on a uh, bend in the river. Uh, you know what? I'll show you on Google Earth right now. Here's the bend in the river. That's the sound of it coming down. Alright, so we're at that bend in the river. We're going to set up camp right here. Well, we're over here trying to catch some brim for catfish bait. I wound up catching a little bass. So bass like worms. Little worm. Ooh, not too bad actually. <laughs> Well, if you want to catch bass down here, you need a brim fish. Not the target species. <laughs> That's the ticket. You want to catch a bass, brim fish. <laughs> As Tommy Dunaway would say. Backflip. Is it a bass? Oh, that's a brim. Wait. That's a crappie. No, that's a brim. Oh, that is a brim. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah! I caught a brim! What is that? God, that's a huge brim. It's a shelf cracker. Ha ha! <laughs> this is a monumentous occasion. <laughs> I've never been ex so excited for a brim. <laughs> Technically, I've caught a fish on this river before, but this is the first one that I was really looking for. Maybe. I just bent the hook. It's all right. Let's get him unhooked. So giant, such a huge brim. I bent the hook. Let's cut it off. No man, real deal. All right. Yeah, I think I bent the hook a little bit. A little bit. What do you think? <laughs> it's all right. We came. We saw. We conquered. Yay! I can go back now. I'm good. Do some Philly cheese steaks for dinner. Man, num 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 num. Now we talking. It should be all right if I cover it up. Come on. You think? Grab oh, it like careful, this real quick. Careful. Yeah. No, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Let some slack go. Alright, well you probably can't see, but got a big giant brim on there. 
going for these big giant flathead catfish and uh, had one eat it and it got rocked up or rooted up I guess we say so now we're gonna wait see if it'll come out like a grouper will and I hope he comes back out baby morning kind of a, slept pretty good kind of a chilly morning I'm uh, walking down here to find some firewood get the fire going but uh it was a crazy night the uh hyenas went crazy last night <laughs> it was the uh the coyotes there's a bunch of them in the woods close to us really close to us and uh they started screaming so it was uh it woke us all up at like two o'clock in the morning and then they shut down but uh definitely good night good time we're gonna pack up camp here shortly. It's a beautiful morning. Sun's coming up. We're gonna pack up camp here shortly and start heading down. We might go into Dead Lakes, we'll see. All right, we're pushing off the island. Headed on. We're gonna probably go into Dead Lakes if we can make it in. We shall see. A few moments later. Well, here we are again. The boat has broken down once again. It's overheating. I think it's time for a new impeller. And we've only got to tow them 53 miles. So, That's not bad. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> up here in dead lakes it's crazy looking there's tons and tons of cypress as far as you can see That's crazy, man. Are there houses back over there? I don't think so. Uh, what the door is ended. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Like even that little that little shed lifted a little bit. Yeah. You know, I wonder, does the water come up over the edge of this thing? Must. You know, that, like that was Here we go again. Jody trying to save some gas, it seems like. Let's 
Well, the accommodations are better than last night. We got a slip right here. There's the boat. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a good shower and go grab something to eat. But thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you on the next one. Mass Man out.